I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons. First, thank you so much to my Biblio Spren, Biblio Haller, Bibliomancer, and my new Bibliomancer, Biscuit. It means a lot to me that you give me your extra support for my passion and hobby. Hi everyone, uh, Patek here. Today's video will be about uh, some of my favorite books of all time based on my favorite troops. And this will be based on Magical School or Magical Academy troupe. Meaning that every fantasy books on this list today will be fantasy books that have a majority of the time takes place in a Magical Academy or Battle School. This has always been one of my favorite troops in fantasy. I just cannot get enough of it. Something about it just feels so familiar, accessible, and just somehow it gives a feeling of nostalgia and comfort. Even though the characters in this series usually faces life-threatening dangers in the Academy. But yeah, my point stands. I absolutely love these books. I love these tropes. Usually when this trope appears, there's a good chance I will end up loving the book or the series. So today I will be giving recommendations based on this trope. I will be listing uh, the top seven, my top seven favorite fantasy books with the Magical School or the Magical Academy trope. With the exception of the top two, there will be no particular ranking to this list. And before we get around to talking about the top seven, I want to mention three honorable mention first because I love these three fantasy books. Absolutely love them actually. But although the magical school trope do appear in these three books, they are not too dominant in the narrative. And the first one is The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. This is uh, the first book in the Poppy War trilogy. This is Rebecca Kuang debut novel and as some of you may know, she is mega popular now in the fantasy genre. I absolutely love The Poppy War trilogy. I definitely understand why this has a mixed reception, but I think I feel inclined to mention the Poppy War in the honorable mention because the first half of the Poppy War do take place in the Synagogue Academy and that's a military academy and yes, that's very dominant in the first half of the Poppy War. But after that, the remaining of the book and the remaining of the series no longer take place on the Magical Academy. and. That's why it's kind of difficult for me to recommend the Poppy War based on the Magical Academy or the Magical School troupe. But this is indeed a grim dark fantasy book with that troupe implemented. Part of that troupe anyway. And the next honorable mention goes to Jade City by Fondali. This is the first book in the Green Bone Saga uh, series. This one is included in the honorable mention for specifically the same reason as the Poppy War. Although the Magical Academy trope is indeed inside this book, it is not dominant in the narrative <laughs> at all. Actually, only one character, Anden, enrolls in the Cal Tushuron Academy. And I do not think the Magical Academy or the Battle School trope that is uh, inside this book even covers the half of Jade City. So it's even lesser compared to the Poppy War. As I said, uh, other than Anden being enrolled and practicing in the Cal Tushuron Academy, the majority of Jade City or the entire Green Moon Saga does not take place inside a magical academy or a battle school. But I do absolutely love the Green Bone Saga series. It is the best completed fantasy trilogy that I have ever read, and I will always continue to recommend this series non-stop. And the last honorable mention goes to The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. For this one, I even feel more reluctant to actually include this in my list for uh, best fantasy books with Magical Academy troupe. But there are indeed a little of this trope being included inside the Sword of Kaigen. And I do not want people to tell me, why did you not include the Sword of Kaigen? Well, here it is in the honorable mention part. But this is not because of the quality of the book. If we're talking about the quality of the book, whether it's for the Sword of Kaigen or the Green Bone Saga, as I said, the Green Bone Saga is my favorite completed fantasy trilogy that I have ever read. Well, the Sword of Kaigen is the best standalone fantasy book that I have ever read to this day. It is also the best self-published fantasy book. And honestly, including Jade City and also The Sword of Kaigen is just an excuse for me to talk about them to recommend these two series again. Love this series so much and I am looking forward to receiving my copy of The Sword of Kaigen Deluxe Edition published by Raidmark Creative. So now we move on to the top seven fantasy books or fantasy series with Magical Academy troupe. I'm going to mention uh, Mother of Learning first, Mother of Learning by Nobody103 or Domagoi Kurmaj. This one is the hardcover edition of the first volume published by Ritmark Creative. And yeah, I think if you have been following my channel this year, you will know that I've been enjoying my time so much reading through uh, Mother of Learning. And for this particular book or series, I want to recommend not only the first book, but to recommend the entire 
series because this is indeed a time loop fantasy series, a time loop or time travel fantasy series that centers around the Magical Academy trope very heavily. And I love that it is very engaging, it is fun, the characters are likable, and unlike the majority of the books I'm going to mention next after Mother of Running, this one for the second and third volume do still take place inside the Magical Academy, Kyoria Magical Academy. Usually uh, with fantasy books or fantasy series with this trope, usually the second or the third book, the story does not focus on the characters in the Academy any longer. Or maybe even if they were still there, the Magical Academy trope is no longer as dominant as it was in the first book. But for Mother of Running, it is still definitely dominant. The reason I am recommending the entire series is because Mother of Running was originally a web novel and it is published and divided into four volumes by Ritmark Creatives. And because of that, I feel inclined to recommend the entire series instead of only one volume. And moving on to the next one, I want to recommend The Hand of the Sun King by JT Great House. This is the first book in a packed and patterned trilogy, and this was my favorite fantasy debut of the year, I think 2021. Love this one very much. JT Great House prose is absolutely delightful to read, and also there is a unique take on the magical school trope here because this one, I think, was the first time I read a fantasy book or a high fantasy book that focused on calligraphy as part of the education. And it was just so well done and incredibly well implemented into the narrative. The main character's narration when Alders was so hard to put down in my opinion. Love this one and I think this one is still very much underrated to this day. And yeah, it is true, I did not like the second book uh, as much as The Hand of the Sun King, but I have a feeling the third book in the trilogy, uh, Pattern of the World, which will conclude this series, will have the potential to become as good as The Hand of the Sun King in a different way. And as I said earlier, uh, the second book in this one no longer take place inside the academy. And moving on to the next book on the list, it will be a standalone novel. And again, this is another book by R.F. Kuang, and this is Babel. The setting of Babel is Oxford, uh, London. And I think this is even better than any book in the Poppy War trilogy. I think this is indeed uh, R.F. Kuang's best book so far. It is the best dark academia novel that I have ever read up to this day. And I don't usually call myself a fan of dark academia. Although I love the learning aspect, I do want the learning aspect to take place in a high fantasy setting rather than our real world. If you love etymology, you love mystery organization, you have a fascination about languages just like I do, then I think you will love Babel by R.F. Kuang. I think this was incredible and it is a very satisfying standalone novel. And of course, for the next book on the list, I will have to talk about Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. Red Sister is the first book in the book of the Ancestor trilogy, one of my favorite trilogies, and I consider Red Sister to be the best book by Mark Lawrence so far. Do note that I haven't read the remaining two books in the book of the Ice. I also haven't read his newest book, uh, the book that wouldn't burn, but with those exclusions, I still consider Red Sister to be my favorite book by Mark Lawrence so far. I think Nona Gray is an incredibly likable character. The friendship and sisterhood that she formed with the characters in the convent of Sweet Mercy felt so genuine in my opinion. I also like uh, Nona's affection towards the friends that she made, and I think Red Sister do feature some of Mark Lawrence's best writing so far. It is intense, it is heartwarming at times, and I cannot praise this book highly enough. If sisterhood is one of the core that made Red Sister so compelling, well, the next one is about brotherhood. And I'm talking about Blood Song by Anthony Ryan. Yes, this is one of my favorite books of all time. Just like how Red Sister is my favorite book by Mark Lawrence, well, Blood Song up to this day is still my favorite book by Anthony Ryan. It is absolutely incredible. I love Valin Alsorna so much in this book, and many readers, myself included, have recommended a Blood Song to those who love The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and I think it is for many good reasons. Violin's training montage and also the brotherhood that he made in The Sixth Order is just so compelling to me. I love this very much. I have read this one, I think, twice now, and although I have mixed feelings regarding the second and third book in the Raven Shadow trilogy, I have no doubt that I will continue to read Blood Song over and over again. I just love Blood Song very much. It is truly amazing. We only have two books left on this list, and these two will have to share the number one ranking spot. And yes, of course, I'm talking about 
The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, the first book in the King Killer Chronicle series, a series that probably will never end. <laughs> but I cannot deny that I love The Name of the Wind with all my heart. This book in particular is the best one by Patrick Rothfuss. Not only it is the best Magical Academy book that I have ever read, it is also the best fantasy debut. It is just amazing in every possible way. Patrick Rothfuss' writing felt meticulously crafted and also it was so easy to read somehow. It's like every word and sentences were picked out very carefully and this book took a lot of years before Patrick Rothfuss managed to publish it. And Kavod's time outside or inside the university in The Name of the Wind will always be some of my favorite reading experience, especially when I add the depiction of music in The Name of the Wind or The Kingkiller Chronicle. The depiction of music is absolutely stunning, just stunning. It is such a shame that there is a lot of controversy going on with Patrick Rothfuss right now, and I feel disappointed, not gonna lie, and sometimes it gets harder for me to recommend his books. But speaking honestly from the bottom of my heart, I cannot deny that I love The Name of the Wind. Really. And every time the topic of favorite fantasy debut or favorite fantasy book with Magical Academy troupe is being discussed, this is on the top of my mind. Now some of you might be surprised that there is still one more book left on this list. And believe me, I am surprised myself. You might even call this a recency bias. But I have to choose at the number one spot, sharing the number one spot together with The Name of the Wind is The Will of the Many by James Islington. So for the past few months or the past few years, I've been calling James uh, Islington James Islington, but I think the correct pronunciation is Islington. So I apologize for that. But anyway, uh, The Will of the Many is the first book in the Hierarchy series, and it is currently still reigns as my favorite book of the year. No contest at all so far, even though I love The Dragon Bone Chair by Ted Williams so much, but I still think The Will of the Many is a better book. Yes, I said that. No idea whether I will feel the same when I get around to reading Lightbringer by Chris Brown or To Green Angel Tower by Ted Williams. Those are contenders, uh, potential contenders for my favorite book of the year. But The Will of the Many is a Roman-inspired fantasy novel with uh, inspirations from Red Rising and The Name of the Wind. But here's the thing, The Will of the Many never felt derivative of the two books or two series I just mentioned. It's definitely its own book and series by James Islington, and it is absolutely compelling, and I consider this a masterpiece in fantasy. I feel like right now I'm in the presence of a new fantasy book that will become a classic in the future. I mean, right now, at this moment when I'm recording this uh, video, Will of the Many has an average rating of 4.73 ratings on Goodreads, and believe me, New fantasy book usually doesn't reach that kind of high average rating on Goodreads. It simply doesn't. And I think The Will of the Many absolutely deserved it. It is undoubtedly one of the best books I have ever read. I recommend this with all my heart. So that's it. That's the end of today's video. That's my seven favorite fantasy books with Magical School or Magical Academy troupe. What do you think about my list? And if you have any recommendations for your favorite fantasy books with this troupe, do let me know in the comment section. Do let me know your thoughts on my choices. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.